Hey guys, and welcome back to Lift More Monday. Today we have a really quick tip for you um, in terms of how you can improve your hinging, deadlifting, Romanian deadlifts, whatever it is you're doing, how you can improve your hip hinge without putting so much stress on your lumbar spine and while putting more stress where we want it, hamstrings and glutes. This comes from having coached a lot of athletes over the last year, year and a half, who all seem to have fallen into this pattern of relying on extension in their hinge. And especially in the last couple weeks as we open up our NFL compound training prep, we see a lot of athletes who rely on a very heavily extended pattern during their hip hinging, and it's something we have to correct, and this is how we do it. So Cody's going to show you what we've been seeing a lot of, and what we see a lot of in athletes, and that is a very extended posture during the hip hinge. So you see, if I pull his shirt forward, there's a huge curve right here in his lumbar spine. He's really hanging out on these erectors in that lumbar spine. He's not able to get glutes or hamstrings because his pelvis is so anteriorly tilted forward now. Now he's going to try to hinge from this position, right? And Cody actually said to me, this feels like crap right before we actually started shooting the video. So he's in this extremely extended position. Go ahead, show a few. And you can see there's this huge extension posture. His glutes and hamstrings are inhibited. He's not getting any true hip extension. Go ahead, one more. And then relax. Good. So our abs are at length. They're inhibited, glutes and hamstrings are inhibited. We can't get any true um, hip extension at the top of that movement, which is exactly the reason we're training this to begin with, is to improve hip extension strength and power, build hypertrophy and endurance in the glutes, hamstrings, and also our uh, stabilizing muscles of our spine, which are not just your erectors, it's also your abdominals. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cue him to bring his ribs down with a good X hit. So he's gonna bring those ribs down into internal rotation. He's now got a normal, a nice normal lordotic curve. We should have a little bit of it. It shouldn't be excessive. He's going to extend his hip using his glutes and his hamstrings. From here, he's going to maintain that posture as he pushes his hips back, shifts weight to the heels, and now instead of having that huge curve, he's now got a nice neutral spine. And he can finish by driving his hips forward, by driving through the floor, and you can see that nice hip extension at the end where he's getting glutes and hamstrings while he's maintaining a good anterior core position and owning his ribs. So go ahead, Cody, show me four or five of those. Nice and slow all the way down and a good drive up. This is what we are trying to get our athletes to look like when they hinge with dumbbells or when they move on to a trap bar deadlift or even when they're doing single leg deadlifts. We want good posture in the front, a nice neutral or close to neutral pelvis down here, and we want to use hamstrings and glutes to finish hip extension, not lumbar erectors. And that's Lift More Monday. We'll see you guys next week.